But now take a different substance, a piece of glass rod and a piece of vinyl, and rub those together and uh, see what happens. So we'll rub that a few times and hope we get it, uh, get it rubbed right. And now if we put those up one by the other, Instead of pushing, it pulls. If I get on the other side, stop! Stop, you rascal! Stop! Come back! Come back! You can see this time it's not a repulsive force, but it's an attractive force. Stop! Come back! Come back! Like that. Well, that's our evidence that there are two kinds of, of, of what we call charge. When we rub these rods, we're giving them a characteristic that they didn't have before. We call that characteristic a charge. We say the rods are now charged, and they behave differently than they did before. But there's two different ways that the rods can be charged. If both are charged by rubbing with the cat fur, they repel each other. But if you rub one of them with the cat fur and the other with and the rubber and the glass rod with the vinyl, then they attract each other. So there are two kinds of charge, and arbitrarily we've given names to them. This rod is said to be negatively charged, and this one is positively charged. And the rule is the like charges repel each other, but the opposite charges attract one another.